Okay, so your final paper, well, your third paper, your third essay um, before the final final, um, is actually a step back from the difficulty of the poetry essay. It's really straightforward. It's actually probably a little bit easier than your first fiction essay. Um, one, because it's your third essay, but two, because um, you're really you've explored all these elements before. So I'm asking you to look at an element of drama. It can be something you've looked at also with, um, you know, fiction or poetry. It could be figurative language. It could be um, symbolism. Um, or it could be some of the different ironies, right? One of the different ironies. What I'm asking you to do is take one of those elements and explain to me how the author uses that element in this particular play to um, reveal the theme. So it's pretty much the same thing we've been doing, but there, you don't have a, a research element to it. Um, so what I'm looking for here is what I'm always looking for, which is organization, a well-structured essay, well-thought-out argument, really strong use of um, text evidence, and analysis of that text evidence. Um, I'm going to put a link in here about how we use quotations from plays, how we quote them, when there's different speakers, how we how we handle dialogue. Um, I will put a link to a uh, resource that will show you examples of how to do that. Um, but always remember, if you're confused about anything like that, like any kind of citation, you should always Google it. Um, and also your book has a lot of resources around that as well. Um, in fact, the last chapter you read on the research essay has a lot about how to quote sources. Um, okay, so that's the uh, essay assignment. Um, the play assignment is not in your book. Um, it's a play called Dead Man's Cell Phone by Sarah Rule. Um, I don't remember when it was published. At the time it was published... <laughs> okay. Well, it was first performed in 2017, which means it was probably written a couple years before that at least, if not a little bit more. And that's a long time ago, right? Uh, but the play itself examines modern technology. Obviously, 2007 technology was very different than what we have now. But modern technology and its ability to sort of bring us together or isolate us. But it, it explores this through this really bizarre kind of surreal... Um, almost, um, uh, yeah, I guess surreal is the best word to use, um, way where there's a dead man and, uh, kind of communication with the afterlife. It's just very bizarre. Um, and there's funny elements to it. It's not like hilarious, but there are, there are elements that are funny. Um, and it, it revolves around a cell phone and a dead man and a woman who finds the cell phone and kind of falls for the dead man. Um, so you're going to read that. It's not super long. It's a pretty easy read. It's online. I'm going to link the PDF. Um, and then the final thing I'd like you to do this week or over the next two weeks, cause I will not be posting anything on Thanksgiving week. So you have that whole, you have work to do probably, but you have, you won't have new work. Um, and I am not assigning two plays. I was originally going to assign two plays, but I, I, you know, it's the end of the semester. You've got a lot of writing to do and you've got a lot of preparing to do for the final. I'm going to post the final the week after Thanksgiving, and you'll have a whole week to prep for it. Um, so we're, I'm pulling back on one of the plays. You don't have to do one of the plays. You're only doing Dead Man's Cell Phone, and you've already read Trifles. But I would like you to find, if you can, a screenplay, which is a little different than a play, than a dramatic play. And they're both dramatic plays, but a screenplay is written for um, screens, so not the stage. So it's slightly different, but it follows a similar format. Uh, I want you to think of your favorite show, your favorite movie. Um, the more, the more that that thing is kind of iconic and large, the more likely it might be for you to be able to find a scene from it. And I'd like you to try to track down if you can. This is not something you have to turn in. So this is just like, if you can do this, do it. I want you to track down um, pieces of the screenplay, and I want you to read through some of the original screenplay and I want you to think about how the visual representation of that um, is a manifestation of the screenplay or how it differs from it. 
So that is what I would like you to do for homework. Most importantly, you're reading Sarah Rule's Dead Man's Cell Phone. You're beginning your essay. You have to read the play first. Um, and you're choosing between trifles, Dead Man's Cell Phone, and any third play that you find and want to read. But you have to read trifles and Dead Man's Cell Phone. If you happen to find a full screenplay of something that you really like and care about, um, then you can run by me whether or not that would be a suitable replacement for one of those two plays for your essay. Okay, that is all. Um, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll be in touch with people about essays if you have questions. I'll be by my computer tomorrow and Friday and most of the weekend because I'm hoping to get some essays in this weekend so I can be grading. So I'm planning on a quiet weekend of just being uh, on standby for your questions. So please send them. Let me know if you need help.